In the next few moments, the players will be joining us on the stage throughout this evening. We're going to have a bit of a stage show, get some of your favourite players on the stage and have a fantastic evening down here uh, celebrating promotion. It feels so, so good. At the moment, the players are just in the uh, concourse area of the town hall, meeting and greeting a few of our local dignitaries as players will be joining us on the stage shortly. Uh, can we make some noise? If you have a horn, blow it now. If you have a very loud voice, shout, you Reds! And if you are delighted that we are in the championship next season, E-I-E-I-E-I-O! disagreed on anything in days. But the one thing we all agree on is the Super Reds are on the way to the championship. We are going up. Yes, dear. It's for your Super Reds! Mental in one word. Are we all dancing and singing now? Yeah, of course we 
What's it like to be coming through the ranks here at Oakland and now seeing this back in the championship? Well, it's back where it belongs, isn't it? That's where Barza should be, we're back in the championship. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. Adam Davies, James Free, and George Smith. Okay, next on the stage, we have one of our own local lad, Mark Roberts, Nguyen Mayatanga, and the captain, Conor Hurahan. Connor, 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 this is becoming a bit of a habit for you, walking up those steps and lifting that trophy. Yeah, fantastic habit. Um, you know, Tampa really in towards going up the steps, leading these lads to lifting two trophies at Wembley. It's, a bit Irish. Uh, it's a fantastic feeling. Bottom of the table, did you ever imagine that we'd be stood here now? No, not at all, if I'm being honest. Um, you know, but it's amazing what can happen when everyone pulls in the right direction, you know. From all the lads this is good, um, exercise for to me. all the fans, you know. When everyone gets together and everyone gets a good feeling about themselves, you know, it can turn into a fantastic season. It's what, it's what everyone deserves. And, uh, you know, full credit to everyone. What about it? Over 20,000 Reds fans yesterday showing out for the second time in a couple of months to go to Wembley to give you the support. Yeah, unbelievable. You know, full credit to everyone who went down both days as well, you know. We, we know it's not easy. And, you know, making your way down to London. So, you know, we put two great performances on for you and hopefully you had a couple of days to remember for life. Up in the championship next season, there must be a real buzz now about facing the big boys. Yeah, of course, you know, you want to test yourself at the best level possible. Next year, that's championship for us when we go to places like James, 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 James Park, Villa Park, and I'm sure the fans will follow us all around the country. Don't worry. Ladies and gentlemen, your captain, Conor Hurahan. You are as cool as a cucumber, aren't you? You just stood here, straight face, looking out on what, maybe 10,000 Reds fans who've turned out for you. You'd have been down there, wouldn't you, if you weren't playing for us? Yeah, probably. I mean, it's just fantastic to see so many people turn out to see us uh, rear the trophy. Your story's incredible because just a few years ago, you were at the College of the Road. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, we're, as the club has, you know, it's back where it belongs now, and hopefully we can keep it. There was a moment I saw Alfie Lawson sat on the edge of the penalty area when you were all celebrating and you sprinted across and rugby tackled him. Now, what did you say to him? No, I didn't say anything. There's nothing, nothing we needed to say. We were just celebrating, you know, we were all together and, you know, we, we... We've got the final piece of the jigsaw. You know, we've, we've all worked hard all season and this is what it's about. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Roberts! Yay! I'll move across to Louis Naya Tanya. You like the way you wear it, cool as a cucumber. What was it like watching on yesterday? Because uh, it was never in doubt, was it? Yeah, it was very relaxed. Um, we've just been on such a good run. Everyone's playing so well. You know, we've got so many good players that I felt that if we performed, which we did, it was really good. You ended up on the fringe of the squad. It must have been frustrating, but also delighting for you to see them doing so well. Definitely, you know, um, Alfie and Robert have been doing fantastic. And I'm just pleased that they're doing so well, pleased that they're winning so much. Do you ever feel like tripping up in the corridor or anything? Yeah. <laughs> what about you in the future? Oh, we'll see. You know, we'll see. We'll see. Go on holiday now, so the next season we'll come back and do a session. Ladies and gentlemen, Louis Nyatanga. Are we ready for more Wembley Heroes, Barnsley? Okay. Next on the stage, Nick Townsend. Josh Brownhill and Marley Wilkins. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these guys have uh, well, up the ante as far as the hats go. Nick, I'm liking your style. I saw you yesterday when the final whistle went. You were the quickest on the pitch. I've never seen a man run so fast. Yeah, but 
both times in the the season where he was on the bad one. And I was just caught together. Shows off the boot. You know the kind of, well that must be frustrating to be on the bench, the best seat in the house when the goals are going in. When we went 1-0 up after just a couple of minutes, did you believe it? Well, I couldn't away because the way we were playing, I think we uh, were confident about it. Yeah, it, was, uh, it was all worth it, you know, winning that uh, Wembley for the second time, especially for the Hollywood fans, it's, it's a great feeling. It's not like to play at Wembley Stadium then, because the, the pitch just looks ten times bigger than any other pitch. It is, it's tough, but you know, it's a heavy life stream from growing up, that's why you play football for and, uh, special occasions, and to play there twice, and you know, that's amazing. The fans who are taking you in, you've, you've only been here for a short period and everyone loves you. Yeah, it does seem like, you know, it's always hard going into a new place. You know, the fans have took me well, you know, very quickly and told the players and always feels good. Would you like to come back? Yeah, I don't see why not. I see. See you in the future. Thank you, Josh. And to Marley, you've been watching from the stands for a little while. Have you been kicking every ball with the lads? Yeah, I've been uh, cheering them on, obviously. Um, they've done fantastic, so it's been, been great to watch as well. Good football. Um, it's a great bunch of boys, so good to see you You've been through us with the thick and the thin this season when things were really low. What was the atmosphere like in the dressing room? Where did you think things were going? It was rock bottom to be honest, and uh, yeah, I just I was, uh, I was a bit. I thought I was going crazy because I knew how good the lads were. And we had a few more additions. Um, yeah, I was wondering why we were down at the bottom, but eventually we turned it around and you know, right this way. And it must have been great to get on that pitch yesterday. Yeah, definitely. Well, in fact. Uh, the gaffer and Tommy, because he came to me to say, you know, play, play the part and that, and to get back quick for it, so that's what I tried to do, yeah. You did it. Thank you very much for your efforts yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick Townsend, Josh Brownhill, and Marty Watkins. I think we've been on stage. Every time I see you, you, you grow. <laughs> Mate, you must be growing in confidence after that goal yesterday at Wembley. Yeah, definitely. Uh, unbelievable day. Unbelievable fans. And, no, it's the result we wanted. Tell me what was going through your mind. You end up dream start two minutes into a game through on goal. No, I was just uh, thinking about keeping my composure and, and sending the fans behind the goal crazy. Really. Anything Marcus Rashman can do, you can do better, eh? <laughs> Everyone here at Barnsley Football Club, just like with Josh, you know, taking you in. It's been a lone spell, but you'll look back on no matter where your career takes you and you'll say, it really did help me. 100%, yeah. Uh, the fans, the club have been unbelievable and I couldn't have wished for it to, to go any better. And I can say that Barnsley have got a special place in my heart now. <laughs> And if you can uh, have a word with Mr. Mourinho, I think most of these fans would like to see you next year. Who knows? <laughs> I think we should all write a letter to uh, Jose and just say, as we say, can we have him back? <laughs> it would be nice, it would be nice, but uh, no, again, I'd like to thank all of you for, for taking me in. You've been unbelievable since I've been here. And we're coming back anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll leave that there with Ashley Fletcher. Moving on to George Williams. Men can't multitask, he's just said to Ashley, do you want to hold this thing? George, what a season. Yeah, it's been incredible, we've had, we've had ups and downs, and I mean, it's great to finish off the promotion now. When they stay then you walk out there for the second time, did it feel like home? I mean, it was less nervous this time, uh, I think that helped, and you know, it's a... It was a strange game, wasn't it? Because we were ahead so early, and then Adam scored that wonder strike. Was there ever a point where you did feel like one pressure? It was a bit, wasn't it, when no one could get into the game? Now we were confident, we got the early goal, which helped settle the nerves, and then um, we just got stunned and stunned with the game we were on. So yeah, we were over the moon, and thanks to all the fans for coming down there. Brilliant.
George, thank you very much for your time this evening. Jack, from the bench then, was it hard to keep your emotions in check when we were, were scored out? I could see you actually jumping around. Yeah, it's one of them days, isn't it, where it goes down in history and... Being on the bench and, and seeing the lads out there, it's hard, but what can you say? When you join, we're stood in a great we place, place really, aren't we? Yeah, it's not oh, a bad yeah, it's crazy. In the first year, I never have thought that I'd be, I'd be standing here now in front of all, all of the fans and, and saying this, and, and it's just crazy. You're now a championship footballer? No, yeah, it's, it's mad. It is, it's really mad. It's mad. I think we could sum that up, couldn't we, everyone? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Jack McCall, George Williams, and Ashley Fletcher. So we need to get down to the bookies and uh, put a little bit of money on uh, back to back promotion. Yeah, you can, mate. <laughs> Come on, mate, you've got to give me the inside track. Ladies and gentlemen, wearing his Brazil flag and flip flops, Alfie Morrison. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Amy White, Callum Evans. Sam Winnell and Adam Howell. Yeah. We'll start at the far end this time with Callum. Not spoken to you much, mate. Uh, a, a man almost in the shadows, but I, I'm sure you've been enjoying watching these guys on the pitch. Yeah, of course it is. It's been um, a great experience. Obviously, um, my first time being involved in the first team football. So, um, what better season to come in? Winning the GPT, obviously getting the new so thanks so much for coming. Did you sense that good things were, were starting to happen as we got towards the end of the season? Um, of course you can, like, everyone. Obviously we had a different group of young players before Christmas and then we've like we grew the team and that and I think the last time who's come in on them has been excellent and we've all like bonded really well so I think it was time good things to happen here, good things to happen here. Together everyone achieves more. Callum Evans, thank you. You haven't stopped since the last time I saw you. Adam Howell is a wreck. And having chatted to you last night at Wembley just after the game, you are a red, aren't you? Absolutely love this club. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, obviously coming back and I couldn't have dreamed of reaching out this season. But I'm a I'm still waiting for the chicken from UK and chicken. <laughs> you still waiting? Yeah, but no one's enough to do JJ for you, you still haven't delivered. <laughs> um, hello, UK fried chicken. Can anybody see us down there? Hello? We need chicken for Adam Hamill ASAP Town Hall. Thank you very much. <laughs> There's no delivery charge now. It's been here in six weeks long. <laughs> Let's stop talking about chicken. Let's start talking about the football, Adam. You're going to make me hungry, mate. Uh, what about yesterday, then? Sorry, it's not a repeat question. Sorry. You pick the ball up and you start running. Did you imagine where that ball was going to end up? I think, yeah. to be honest, though, I remember getting in on it and just driving, and really thought it was the one on the outside. The space up and up, and thought, why not? Hit it and look in the top corner. It's quite a contrast, isn't it, to where you were at this time last season, looking over to town, and then you took a couple of months away from the game. Yeah, most definitely. Um, yeah, obviously, it was the first time I'd been away from the club, and it was just a really on the periphery of the first team, not playing, picking splinters up on the backside, <laughs> sitting on the bench that much, um, came here, had a new leash of life, and to be honest, I couldn't have imagined what happened this season, two Wembley visits and promotion, it's 
It's what dreams are made of, and it's for all you lot as well as the fans. You were chatting to me yesterday, you had a sports psychologist sit with you and you came up with a list of aims. Two goals in Wembley finals, a Johnstone's paint trophy and a promotion to the championship. You're not telling me that that was on the list. The, the list of aims that you put together with your sports psychologist. Did you imagine that this would all happen? To be honest, yeah, why, why not? Why not be a aim at the top? I am um, in the sport. The first process was getting back to playing. Playing with a smile on my face and um, doing what I do, which is entertaining fans like themselves. Um, they take it to me again, uh, giving me the support and loyalty, and it's giving me the confidence to drive on. And you know what, next season we can kick on. We're not here to make the numbers up next season, we're here to kick on the championship. And, uh, so this week. I read into the